Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In the last video, we actually imported all the SVG graphics from Adobe Illustrator into Blender. We got our reference file from the internet, opened it up in Adobe Illustrator, separated all the SVG components, and then saved them out as SVG files, and then we imported them into Blender. And this is where we are right here, guys. We've imported all the SVG components from Illustrator into Blender, and this is where we are. And now I am going to parent everything together. I'm gonna rig everything using the parenting method. Uh, and so I'm gonna zoom in on this guy and I'm gonna start parenting the arm. Remember that the parenting, you have to select the child first and then the parent and then parent both of them. So I'm gonna select the child and then shift select the parent, which is the arm. And I've got these two selected and the parenting is right here under object, parent, object, which is command P or control P for the PC. So I'm gonna go ahead and parent them. And you can see that relationship line. That means that this is parented to the arm. The hand is parented to the arm. So if I was to select the arm and then rotate, the hand goes with it. And we're ready to start animating this hand. So undo that. But if I was to select the hand, I can also move the hand independently. So let's go ahead and do that again. Select the child first and then the parent. Command P, object. So I'm gonna want the scarf, this part of the scarf to be the parent of the head. And then this will be parented. So, so the child first, which is the head, and then the scarf. Shift click and then Command P object. And then I'm going to do child first and then uh, the scarf. Command P object. Again, Shift P and then, I mean, Shift click and then Command P. Uh, and so if I grab the head, I can still um, pretty much rotate it undo but if I grab the scarf I can rotate the whole thing and I can rotate this piece of the scarf independently and this piece of the scarf and then rotate it independently so let's go ahead and parent the legs guys uh, the foot first and then the leg and then command P and then the foot and then the leg child and then parent command P and now all these are parented. So if I grab the leg, I can move it with, and the foot will go with it. It's very simple. This hand is already parented to the arm. This one is parented to the arm. And then the head is parented. So, but if I grab, uh, for example, if I grab the body, it's still unparented. And remember, always always the hips are the center of gravity those are the main parents for the entire character since we don't have any hips uh, i'm just going to get the the chest or the torso part to be the parent of everything so i'm going to select the arm and then shift select the torso and then hit command p again the arm the child first and then the parent command p object leg and then torso command p and then remember the child first and then the parent command p oh and then the scarf and then the the uh, torso command p so now if i grab the torso everything goes with it that's pretty cool but i can still move the arm I can still rotate the arm. I can still rotate this arm. And I can still rotate the uh, legs. Let's try out the other leg. Yep. And I can rotate the head. And the scarf. 
So this character here has been parented. I am going to parent the girl now. Uh, and it's the same process. Uh, the hand to the arm, the arm to the torso, hand to the arm, arm to the torso, foot to the leg, and then the leg to the torso. Same procedure. And so guys, we've got this one done. One thing I did fail to do with this one, the girl, and I, I think I mentioned it on this one, is that we need to replace, uh, reposition all of the center points, the pivot points on each of the elements. Uh, for example, this arm, the pivot point is right there. And so we need to replace it and move it over here so that the arm can rotate properly. Undo. And so we do this by just uh, affecting only the origin. And I can go ahead and move this origin point to where I need it. I'm going to just place it right about there. Uh, I'm going to grab this one and place it right on the wrist. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Right there. This one I think will be good there. The head, I need to remove it. Um, to where the head is going to rotate from. And so I'm going to go ahead and get this done, guys. I'll speed up the, the video just a little bit, and then I'll see you on the other side. And that's it guys uh, and the only thing that I need to do now is parent and rig the character and so let me get that done I might speed up the video because we've already done it here again child first I'm gonna select the child first and then shift select the parent command or control P and then uh, object so we've got that I'm gonna get this done and then I'll see you on the other side guys And guys, there, there we have it. Let's uh, go ahead and test it out. I'm gonna grab the arm and I am going to, yep, the hand goes with it. So we're good. Undo and then grab the arm and the hand goes with it. Grab the leg, rotate it and the foot goes with it. Again, the, fit, the foot does go with it. Uh, there's no um, nothing parented to the head so that the head will move on its own and then the body the body of the torso is the parent of everything so that's good hey guys uh, you can see the relationship lines to what what is parented to what you can see that this arm is parented to the the body uh, and you can turn those off it, if it bothers you those dotted lines are called relationship lines Oops, uh, and you can turn them off right here, relationship lines, boom. And then so they won't bother you. And now that everything has been rigged, we are ready for animation. If you haven't done so, check out our website, learntoanimate.com. Sign up for the email. And also, if you want to support the channel, if you want to go to Patreon, go sign up for the Patreon. I will have this this svg this blend file in patreon so that if you want to grab this and follow along in the rigging 
you may do so. But I'll have this blend file in the Patreon. I'll upload it so that you guys can have access to this blend file. In the next video, we will be animating the characters. And so thank you for watching, guys. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.